The common era dawned when the world broke apart. It was an age of unimaginable suffering as humanity reeled from the consequences of their greed. The old nations were lost and the brutal lands now hung in the tangled, decaying remains of the world tree. Pretty cool sounding, huh? This is the game of Sludge, uh, a new game that uh, I'm going to be getting in with with Jay. It's a mixture between a tabletop war game and a skirmish game. 27 millimeter, a little bit more on the black powder end of it. But the way the core rules look, um, I'm fairly interested. Uh, I haven't actually painted a whole tabletop war army in quite some time. And uh, this being 27 millimeter, I thought maybe I'd be able to get this done pretty quick here. So I'm using Warlord uh, Army uh, models. Uh, you get the US Marines, the US Army, and the British Royal Troops, British Royal and Canadian Troops uh, for bolt action. Um, I wanted to make sure I let you guys know right here. Yeah, here we're I'm trying to page through the rules that that, have, that uh, I printed out. Um, this game has something called gore tokens uh, that you lay when uh, mass are when uh, you get a mass death pile going on. Um, it's one of the areas that I was really interested in. Um, but these model or the game is based upon your troops are three to a 40 millimeter base. Um, all of these bases that I have over here are from old models. Um, the bases that came with the bolt action models, of course, uh, happen to be the same size as the gore tokens. And that's gonna be for another video. Um, so basically it's three models per base. Um, you can have between three and five bases per squad. Um, you know, I went into this thinking this should be pretty easy um, until I did the math. I got five squads of five and I got one mortar battalion, which is three squads or uh, three bases of two. So yeah, that ended up being an awful lot of models that I put together here. and. Uh, you know, they went together real nice. I enjoyed the process a lot more than I thought I was going to. Managed to get the styrene cement out and actually work on some proper historical models. Um, the one thing is, is that uh, I did need to use the super glue when I glued them to the bases. Um, most of these bases are very old. A lot of them were orc tyr or tyranids um, from, God, decades ago. Um, and yeah, you can see things starting to come together here. Um, and at this point, I'm trying to build for, okay, well, here's a close up of the mortar, mortar teams. Um, yeah, the paint job's coming up here. I did quite a bit of airbrush work uh, to get the bases set, but started doing the detailing work thinking this was gonna be, you know, not that big of a deal. And then you got detailing work and more detailing work. And there's three of these per base. And wow, holy cow, did everything go crazy. Well, I went back and I referred to the pictures, you know, that I was posted out here in the front of the video here. And, you know, a lot of things are abstract. Um, so I thought, man, this is perfect for oil paints. Um, so we'll get a good bunch of the details done. We'll give her an oil oil wash. Um, very grim dark these guys turned into. Um, yeah, not a whole heck of a lot of detail work on these guys. Um, I can go back and put some more on, but the fact of the matter is I really like the abstractness of this army. Um, sludge is a lot of nameless, faceless dudes hammering it out. Uh, the historical factor of sludge is that the world tree has is dying, has died. And if you know any history of the world tree, 
Um, each of the branches has a different uh, timeline um, reality to it, and they're all crashing together. Um, and I want to portray this. Um, I think I did, at least with this first part of it. I did all this in two days, guys. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, there could be some more detail, but I'm looking for a mood on this more than anything because I'm very interested in terrain later on. But I figure I should get myself a good looking army out first. Um, yeah, there's some of the Canadian guys. Um, it looks like a blast to play this game. Um, and it's going to be neat to do something a little bit less sci-fi, a little bit more, um, you know, bare bones terrain. Um, like I said, extremely happy with the way this is. Going to have a few more videos on this. Um, and, you know, I thanks so much for stopping by, you guys. Please like and subscribe.